Good evening, YouTube. It's your man, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, today is the 35th anniversary of one of the biggest deaths in the Bat, in the Bat family, you know, and it's the death of Robin, Jason Todd. Now, back in um, 80, um, of, is April 27th of 1985, DC Comics put in one of the comic strips in a um, story that uh, Robin, Jason Todd, was killed by the Joker. The problem was the character of Jason Todd was not very liked. Compared to after taking the mantle over after Dick um, Grayson, the first Robin, um, retired and became Nightwing, Batman met a young, um, a young uh, a car thief in um, Crime Alley after he uh, visited visit his um, parents' um, site where they were murdered. And Jason was able to take off the tires off, his, uh, off the Batmobile. You know, he saw some of the young boy and then he decided to make him his next Robin. So he adopts him and then he trains him in the ways like he did um, Dick. But the thing with, was, with, the thing with um, Jason Todd was that he was cocky, overconfident. He tried to do more what he's supposed to do as a Robin. Many of the uh, comic book fans did not like the, uh, the new Robin. So like I said, um, DC Comics put in a 1-900 number calling in to see if you want to kill Jason Todd or not kill Jason Todd. Now the story goes like this, um, on one of his investigations, um, Jason uh, was found his mother. And she, you know, he, and, you know he, he, she followed his mother, but it was actually it was the Joker who played it out. So the Joker killed his mother and ended up beating him with a... a I think it was a, what was it, uh, what was it he beat him with? Um, I've seen the pictures of it. Um, it was a crowbar. And Jason was left side of the building. And then when Batman, the time Batman gets there, the building explodes. And he finds Jason's body. This was the most devastating death in the uh, Bat family. I mean, you know, next to, I think, um, losing his parents, I think it really hurts Bruce Wayne to lose a, a foster son and a, and a partner. So a good while there was no Robin until maybe a few years later when um, Tim Drake became the third um, Robin. But um, in DC Comics, no one stays dead, especially in comics history. So a few years later, I think about, ooh, about, you know, almost 20 years later after the death of, of um, Jason Todd, there was a, a total, um, what we call a event changing, you know, kind of like the Infinity Crisis thing. It's just that there was this character called Superboy Prime and he and he just punched the uh, the fabric reality, in which Jason came back to life. Yeah, and one story is that it was Ra's al Ghul who set up the whole plan with the Joker, not realizing how crazy it was, and he took Jason's body to the Lazarus Pit and revived him. And Jason felt like you know Batman didn't do enough to um, to avenge his death, so he took a, uh, the character Red Hood. Which he became, which was some say was a, a alternate, a alternate um, version of the Joker before he became the Joker. But um, you know, but uh, now that um, Jason's back in the fold with the Bat Family, and um, you know, but I think he still has a bit of a grudge against the Joker, and he still has issues with the fact that Batman didn't go out and kill him. You know, he thought that you know, hey, you supposed to be family. Thought you know, but you know, Batman's one rule he never want to break it, and I think you know, let's respect that. But, you know, as you know, um, this has been almost 35 years since this happened. And um, it's just something in comic book history. It's like next to uh, the death of uh, Bucky Barnes with Captain America or um, who else? There was a couple other known comic book heroes that died. That was sidekicks. And, you know, and, yeah, and, you know, Bucky Barnes and I think uh, and uh, Jason Todd kind of parallel each other in a way, you know. But, um, you know, this was very... I think it was just something that these comics wanted to do at the time because the character wasn't very popular. And, you know, that was what happened. But anyway, um, this is, I would say, if, you got a, if you're a comic book fan, if you know this story, check it out. I never read it myself, you know, because, you know, I ain't started getting the comics till later till I got like, in my um, teens. You know, but, you know, this is a great story and I think, you know, a lot of people should follow it. And there has been a, a comic book, there's been an anime of that shit of it, you know, under the red hood. So I think you should check it out. So, you know, this is your man, George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.